Hey everybody, um, got out for a few hours today and went to a beat out place that I've hunted before and I thought it was about hunted out, but actually I got some good stuff. I have uh, was really surprised. Um, I didn't do an intro when I went because of the fact I thought, you know, I'm not probably not going to find anything worth putting on film anyway, but I was wrong. I found some good stuff. Uh, so y'all sit back and relax and enjoy this little video. It's probably going to be, you know, a short one, but it's it's, it's, it's going to be a good one. And uh, I'll be back after it's over and uh, do a wrap up. We'll see you in a minute. I got my first target of the day. That in there. It's like a nice little buckle. A little brass buckle. It's got some iron. The, I guess the hook was uh, iron. They come in like a 78 on the AT Pro. Really nice. Now I'll take it. We'll be right back. Got a little lock plate cover here. And it's got something on it. It's got a crown. And I think it's. I think it's going to be W for William Rexus. The early 1800s. That's sweet. I like it and I'll take it. I have to clean it up when I get home. I'll take a still shot of it and post it once I get it cleaned up. Awesome. We'll be right back. It's some kind of sling buckle right here. Pretty neat. I don't know what it's to. Maybe I'll have some kind of suspenders or something. I don't know what it is, but it's old. It was real deep. I have to find out what that went to. All right, now. I got a bell seal here. See right there. I don't think it's got nothing on it though. I love bell seals. That's cool. That's what they used to, to identify a package off the trains. They put it on and they put a bell seal to let it know that, you know, let the customer know that it hadn't been opened since it's been shipped. If the bell seal was gone, then that means it was opened. And a lot of them have. Uh, markings on them like I've got one that says Charlotte Railroad and different things like that but that's neat they made out of lead Coke be right back got another bell cell here nice ring up like a Indian head penny uh, popped it out and it's, it's definitely a bell cell I don't think it's got nothing on it but I'll take it. All right, now. Be right back. All right. I got a good one here. I'm going to show you. I've already retrieved it, but I'm going to show you what it looked like before I did. I just had about that much of it. And now, look at there. A 1909 Barber Quarter. Sweet. Goodness gracious. I'm right proud of that. <sighs> Wow, that's awesome. Goodness gracious. Ain't that great a shape, but it ain't real bad shape either. I sure will take it though. Man, 1909 quarter. First silver quarter of the year. Awesome. We'll be back. All right, everybody. Uh, I told you it's going to be short and sweet, and but, uh, it was pretty good, and uh, I found that Barber Dime, which is, I mean, not Barber, Barber Quarter. I've, uh, that's my first quarter of the year. I've never had our silver quarter of the year, uh, and uh, got a, the the little lock plate cover, which is a, it is William Rexus. It's uh, probably early 1800s, and uh, it's got the crown on it and everything. And I'll show you what else I found. Yeah, uh, all right. Got this uh, nice little bell seal here. Got two of them, actually. 
Um, I always like finding bell seals. They're pretty cool to find. Especially they've got some writing on them, but this one, both of these are blanks. Uh, I got this little odd piece of uh, brass here. It's pretty light. It looks like it's some kind of hinge off something. Uh, kind of maybe popped open like this. I don't know. It's pretty deep, but it was, and it's old. A uh, little old brass buckle that had an iron uh, tongue on it. It's uh, pretty old though. It's uh, probably 1800s. And I uh, got this block plate cover. It's got the crown on it. And uh, WR, which would have been William, King William. And uh, that's probably 1830s around in there. And this little odd buckle here it's uh it's brass it's real thin really don't know what it couldn't have held too much but uh it, it was really deep it's about eight ten inches deep i'm surprised i heard it but uh the good one last but not least it's a 1909 barber quarter um uh, it's my first quarter of the year i'm right proud of it and i hope to get many more but uh this one is uh it's not in real the greatest shape but i've seen worse it's not a blank i can read today and uh that's about all i got for you today i want to give a couple shout outs so uh first i want to give a shout out to a buddy of mine uh joey cannon joey's a fellow musician and uh met joey a couple years ago he was playing bass on the in a band on the garden city pier and at the beach and uh he uh he always seems to like my videos so i'll give a shout out to joey i want to give a shout out to wade parker he's an, another musician friend of mine and he uh he's uh was in a band with me for a couple bands really and uh i want to give a shout out to wade and to kurt holyfield uh here in a little while we're heading to the beach and kurt's already down there and Kurt and I is going to do some uh, beach detecting tomorrow, and it'll hopefully find something and put it on video. Uh, it'll be my first beach hunting video. And uh, other than that, that's about it. That's all I got for you today. Um, please keep keep on liking and commenting. I love the li comments. And uh, uh, share and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Adios, and God bless.